Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing workshop creations. The series where I check out a bunch of different cool little creations and show you them. And the creations we're going to be checking out today is an RC car. Here we have a rocket launcher that's supposed to be handheld. I don't know if that's actually going to work. We've got a completely, totally, absolutely 100% normal delivery truck. There's nothing weird going on with that one right there. Here we have a very, very, very very good looking tank and finally a christmas tree yeah merry christmas guys all right well let's get on with the video so first creation we're going to be checking out is this really very very cool looking tank one thing i kind of have to say about it is you can't tell me this pattern doesn't look like a stove top especially this one it looks like two medium fires and like a small fire for cooking i don't know why but it really does remind me of those things anyways i think we have four hatches in total yep up here we have the driver's hatch bow gunner hatch we have the commander's hatch which also has the machine gun and finally the loader's hatch let's try getting this thing moving before trying anything else because because obviously that's probably the most important thing to do. Alright, here we go. Disengage, parking brakes, engine starter. No, definitely not the engine kill switch. That wouldn't be good. Alright, here we go. This tank has a ton of gears, I'm pretty sure. Like, let's see what the highest one. Okay, the highest gear is 7. Let's see how fast that is. It's pretty fast. It's no race car. Like, it's definitely not going to compete with a race car or even a normal car. But still, it's not that bad for such a heavily armored vehicle. Okay, let's turn off the engine. Let's check out the rest of the tank. I'm sure there's a lot here to see. Okay, so here we are in the bow gunner seat. I'm pretty sure... Sure. Yep, that's this machine gun right there. We can look out there. That's our hatch. And we can fire. Oh, okay. It doesn't actually look like we have anything we can do. Aside from the fire button, we can't really do anything. I would have liked an aiming feature, like a way for myself to aim, but it's not terrible. Anyways, if we continue backwards, we have the commander seat. Let me hop in there because I am kind of stuck. Oh, look at that. When I open the hatch, my seat actually rises up. How cool is that? That's a really cool detail. But I don't really really have a button to use that machine gun strangely that's really weird what a shame all right well we can actually control the cannon from here and we can obviously move it around just like any normal turret and we can fire huh i said we can fire huh fire 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 please what's wrong with the tank wait is this even a gun this might just be some fake gun parts it might not even be a gun oh well but the final seat is this one the loader seat it literally does nothing actually never mind you do have to do something because in the new update you actually have to reload your cannons that actually is probably why the cannon didn't fire see the round is right there and then i'm gonna close the breach and the round's gonna go inside how much do you want to bet that this is gonna fire now here we go Ah, that actually worked. And look at that. We can take out the cannon round out of here and we can just put one in right here. There we go. And then close the reach. There we go. That's so cool. I really do love the new DLC. It's amazing. Okay, so we kind of need a way to destroy this tank. Let's just say we were um, a military and we saw this tank just being annoying what would be the solution to getting rid of it well rocket launchers obviously but we're not gonna be doing that we're gonna be using an rc car yes you heard me right an rc car so basically the plan is to strap a few c4 onto this thing just a couple not too many we don't really want to weigh down the rc car too much because, you know, it's just an RC car. It doesn't really have that much power. I think this is good enough. So now we can just control it and drive on over to the tank. Oh, this car is very hard to control. Okay, okay. And stop. Please stop. Oh, great. You, d you did not stop. I told you to stop. Stop, please. Yeah, this car is really hard to control. It basically has no grip and will never listen to you. Oh, there we go. We hit it. Now all we have to do is grab a detonator, zoom in, and click. Wait, that actually did so much more damage than I was expecting. Wait, where's the RC car? <laughs> the RC car is gone. I think it got destroyed completely. Look at that. The driver's hatch is completely broken. You can't even get into the craft now. You have to use one of these back hatches. 
and I bet you can't even drive the craft now because the seat's destroyed. I think the mission was successful on that one. Surprisingly. Hey, to all the militaries in the world, why don't you just start using RC cars with C4 on them? It totally works in a game, which means it definitely must work in real life. Alright, here's the creation I am actually insanely excited about. Basically, you can pick this up and it's like a rocket pod. Well, you're not meant to knock it over, actually. Oh, a tool of democracy. Yes, firing rockets at your enemies is very democratic. Okay, I presume these are the rockets. I kind of need the instructions. I don't really know what to do here. Oh, I just knocked it over. Okay, attempt number two. Okay, so we have to aim the rocket a little bit up. We're very close range, so we probably shouldn't make it too high. Now what do we do? Do we just click launch? Did the rocket just go through the treads? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That's so funny. Okay, let's give that another go. Let's aim that a little bit higher. That looks like it's gonna work. And launch. Yes, that was exactly what I was... No, that was not what I was hoping for. What is this measly tiny bit of damage? I could do more damage with a toothpick. Like, a literal RC car did more damage than a massive rocket launcher. Just take a look at this. I have a C4 in my inventory. Boom. Look at that. The entire tank is devastated. It's still a very, very, very cool creation nonetheless, though. Okay, so now we have a totally 100% percent absolutely normal ups truck why are you looking at me like that it's completely normal nothing's off about it at all wait a second does that say launch missile spam missiles flight stabilizer and brakes no you didn't see anything i'm just gonna hide the controls so you don't suspect the thing cockpit lights no this is a normal cabin why does it say cockpit that's really weird the rattle Definitely won't start a jet engine and put you into plane mode. Absolutely, I agree with the throttle lever. Okay, I don't think I can lie to you guys anymore. It's so obvious that this thing can fly. Here we go. Throttle up all the way. Look at that. The back door's open. We have, I think, five missiles there and a massive jet engine. Let's try that again. I never noticed that a whole thing folds out and a gyroscope and altitude meter and a HUD. That's really cool. Let's try not to crash this time. And it's sort of working. Actually, never mind. It's not working at all. I actually got us off the ground somehow. The roll here is very, very, very hard to control. What would you expect? It's a literal delivery truck. You can't expect it to have good aerodynamics or anything at all. All right. Press the spam missiles button. Um... It's not doing anything. I forgot there's a master arm button. Here we go. Spam missiles in three, two, one. Spam! Whoa. Five missiles just flying in formation. That was, that's cool. And we can launch a few missiles like that. I really think that's cool. Like they go backwards and then they go back forwards. And spam missiles. Five missiles. There, off they go. I don't know if they're guided or not. They look like they're not guided though. These are some pretty fun aileron rolls. Wait a second. Are these called aileron rolls if you don't even have ailerons? That's something to think about while flying this car. Oh no, I can't control it anymore. Okay, well, our engine just got completely destroyed. On to the next creation. Okay, here we go. Our final creation is one themed around Christmas. It's a beautiful Christmas tree. What did you expect? It's not a flying Christmas tree. It's just a normal Christmas tree. You can push it around. It doesn't fly. It doesn't explode. It doesn't attack you. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!